good. Endure Elite family of fast, Matt Mossman, the endurance guru over at Endure Elite, here today to talk to you about something very important. Now I'm going to skip my zany antics today, and we're not even going to talk about anything endurance training, nutrition, or supplement related. We're actually going to talk about something much, much, much more important, and that is giving back to the communities that we live in. Now at the heart of Endure Elite are really three things. One as you guys know, delivering quality content, two, making kick-ass supplements, and three is giving back to the communities we live in. Now, this video isn't about Endure Elite tooting its horn like, hey, we're giving money to these organizations and hey, look at us. It's more about to recognize the people behind these organizations and what they're doing in their communities to make them that much better of a place uh, for endurance athletes, for runners, mountain bikers, um, people that just like to get outside and have fun and get away from the TV and whatnot. So I'm gonna mention three of these individuals and these organizations um, they work with and what they're doing. Now, if you're a race director, somebody involved in your local trail community, you run like a cool running program for kids or something like that, Endure Elite wants to partner with you too uh, to help your organization. So after you watch this video and you think you may want to partner with Endure Elite, send me a direct message and, and let's talk and let's see what we can do to help you out. So let's just get right to it. So a portion of of Endure Elite sales through the sales of various uh, like t-shirts and mugs and water bottles and also a portion of sales from products uh, basically goes to three organizations right now. Um, two are in South Dakota and one is in North Dakota. Now the first person I'm going to call out is up in North Dakota and his name is Nick Yabara and he runs uh, Save the Madahe. Now what I really like about Nick is this guy is really a steward of the land. Like he gets out there, he does trail maintenance, he grinds away, he doesn't call attention to himself. He's doing it because it's good for his community. And there's a whole host of other volunteers that, that help him out there and which they're very much appreciated. So what Nick does is he maintains the Madahe Trail. And this trail is 144 miles long that runs from Medford, North Dakota up to Watford City. And it runs through the uh, North Dakota Badlands, which if you never been put it on your bucket list absolutely beautiful but Nick and his band of volunteers spend hundreds if not thousands of hours each year uh, maintaining this beautiful trail and legitimately without their efforts this trail would be overgrown and become unusable um, so big hats off to you Nick and, and other volunteers in addition um, Nick runs a series of races up on the trail and around North Dakota uh, the most famous probably being the uh, Mata Hay 100 billed as the uh, raddest race in the baddest place and, and I can believe that that. But here's a other list of other uh, races that uh, Nick runs throughout the year. Um, awesome races. Again, if you're a mountain biker, put the Mata Hay 50R100 on your bucket list. Totally worth your time. And North Dakota is nothing like what you think it is for the most part. Beautiful country. So Nick, I tip my hat to you for all the efforts on the uh, Mata Hay Trail. Now, the second guy that I'm gonna mention is from my hometown of Spearfish, to South Dakota. And before I shot this video, I was trying to think of the best way to describe the guy. And the best correlation I can came up with is he's like a combination of Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster. And being like, he's kind of a legend in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Like if you live here, you more than likely know Perry Jewett and his wife, Christy Jewett, and what they do for uh, the trails in uh, South Dakota and with his organization, the Ridge Riders of the Black Hills. Now, Perry is a badass mountain biker in his own right, but what he does goes so far beyond that. He's responsible for maintaining a lot of the trails around Spearfish, uh, Tintin Trail, uh, Dakota Ridge. I mean, there's, there's tons of single track around here that Perry and his volunteers, the Ridge Riders, and a guy named Paul Bosworth really, really take care of it to make it you know, enjoyable for everybody to use. Um, he also probably want, runs one of the 
best races in the uh, mountain bike races in the country right now, uh, the Dakota 5 And again, if you haven't done this race, if you're lucky enough to get in, jump on it because you're going to want to do it. In addition to that, Perry runs a uh, gravel grinder series, uh, the Gold Rush Gravel Grinder, and then the uh, 28 Below uh, Fat Bike Race. So Perry doing lots of awesome things in the spearfish community from running, you know, solid races to trail maintenance and, and everything else in between. Like he's the epitome of what outdoors and the Black Hills is. So Perry, I tip my hat to you, my friend. Uh, the last individual I want to mention is uh, Ron Paul Dizel, and he's a member of uh, FAST. Falls Area Single Track up in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Now, I haven't known Ron Paul um, as long as I've known Perry or Nick, but what really struck out to me about uh, Ron Paul when I was first communicating uh, with him in FAST and why Endurly partners with him is they're, they're raising money right now for the uh, Tut, Hill, Tut Hill Trail System in, in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I'm like, you know, how much money is this going to take? And he's like, it's going to be a lot of money, but if we don't raise it, I'm going to be out there with my shovel and my pick doing the work myself. So if that tells you anything about this guy's passion for developing trails and being a good steward of this sport, uh, he, he's really, really got it nailed. So again, Ron Paul, I uh, tip my hat off to you. Now, all you guys are doing awesome things and I want people watching this video to go check out their sites, their organizations, you know, what they're doing. I'll provide links below. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna end this video like this. You know, it's it's hard to give back sometimes, you know, actually getting up there and picking up a shovel and in doing trail maintenance or volunteering your time, you know. I know everybody's busy. Like, you know, I run a company, my wife's a doctor, I have three kids. Like, I'm lucky if I get five minutes of sleep a night, but there's other ways we can give back too. You know, my North and South Dakota peeps, you know, definitely look at the organizations I just mentioned and give back if you can. For you who don't live in North and South Dakota, you know, Look at the organizations in your community as well. See how you can give back, whether it's, again, picking up a shovel, volunteer your time, or are donating to a cause. Because I guarantee, at the end of the day, uh, it, it feels good, and it's doing a lot of good, and it's kind of your little piece of leaving the world in a better place than when you entered it, which is really, really, really important. So that is about it for today, my endurance friends. I'll be back tomorrow with some more videos, but in the meantime, stay fueled, stay focused, stay fast, and stay generous.